Hey guys, welcome back to my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom series. Now in this episode, well, we are going to try one last time to get to Rito Village. Well, not one last time, we're just going to try again. Oh, the, this training. Well, we're going to do this first, I mean, now. Oh no. Skip, skip, skip. And we gotta listen to this. The shrine purifies ancient evil. You have who have entered here heed my instruction. Aim true and throw material. Okay, I'll aim true and throw it. Your other attacks are ineffective here, ready yourself. I am ready. Hold it to get ready. Hold selected material. Bomb flower. Whoosh. Well done. Okay, thank you. Watch the enemies move them carefully, then throw the material at them. Okay. So it walks around in it. Now, yoink. Come on. Am I too bad at this? Oh shoot. I'm not, oh no. Spinning lasers everywhere. Uh, I don't think that's safe. If you ask me, I don't think that's safe at all got that for free got that for free now we run in here and we run and we watch the attack and the attack is done now we take a bomb flower and we yoink oh is he dead yeah you've proven your mastery now proceed to the innermost chamber Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, and I see we get a chest. Oh, that's the best. We got a free arrow, and we got a zone charge. Like she. Let's grab some of this. Let's see what it is. Three bomb bomb flowers. Okay. Probably used about five bomb flowers in here, though. But so that was kind of useless. But, yeah, we still get a light of blessing. Light of blessing again. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you see. Now, so what we're going to do, we're going to teleport to the tower up next to Rito Village. And we are going to go down to that lucky place. Because it is right next to the bridge of where we're supposed to go. Okay? Because if you look at the map, it looks like there is... Uh, where is it? Uh, um, yes. If you look right here, it looks like there's no bridge to make it there. But I've been thinking about all the shrines. So you know all the shrines, shrines we've been doing in this game so far. And we've had to like build stuff. I've built cars, built boat cars, and I've built oh, others. Oh shoot, there's a blood moon. A sod in the sky. So, what if we have to just build the bridge? Like, in, like we, how we had to do it, build a bridge up in the sky island at the beginning of the game. Pretty sure we didn't have to, but I wanted to. Okay. And so we're here. And what we have to do, we have to get a cooking pot out. So we have to do all of this quick. This is have to, has to be a really quick test because we only have like no time at all. Yeah, we have two minutes and 30 seconds. 
And what we have to do in that time, we have to go all the way from here to down here to the Lucky Clover Gazette. So we can delete the purple and make one right there. And now I just gotta run for your life. Ow, shoot, we're stuck in the spikes. And we get over here. And now we eat. And three, and now we run. Just go as quickly as we can. Start heading over here. The way. Yeah. We're heading this way. Towards the purple mark. And we just gotta go as quickly as we can. Because if we go too slow, we're gonna run out of cold resistance. Uh, and we, uh, we gotta make it. We just gotta start running now, I guess. We just gotta start walking and running our way there. Because if we don't make it, we're in for the real thing. We're, it, we're in trouble if we can't make it. If we can make it, everything is good. But if we can't, everything is not good. I repeat, not good. And I hear the blood mood sound. Oh, and I see this guy's turning red. Yep, this is blood moon. Yep, oh, and I see the moon is bloody. Oh shoot, I almost forgot about shield surfing. We jump and off. And we just gotta go off. I know, I, I know there, I knew there was gonna be a blood moon. Yeah. So a blood moon. The blood stained moon shines Yes. Oh no. Weird bat things. Giant, giant Pokemons. Ah, did it take away our cold resistance while we were going through the cutscene? No, it did not. Okay. We're getting close with a minute left. We will not have time to make a bridge in one minute. It takes a lot more than one minute if you're gonna make a bridge. And we cannot slide because there's no hills. Well, I guess there's like a little bit of momentum and like we're gonna be able to make it there, but I don't think we can make a bridge in time. Yeah, we aren't gonna have time. Because, as you can see, there's trees everywhere, and we have to break down the trees to make logs, okay? You have to make... Oh, we, we have to make this, actually. And, see, we're already starting. This is perfect. Yeah, this is perfect, guys. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that here. And we're about to run out of cold resistance. And let's go inside. Yeah, because hopefully somebody is selling something to keep me all, keep me warm. You big bird. Shh. Trisel, our editor here, is getting ready for a big Princess Zelda investigation. You're about, you're here about our newspaper. Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Gotta say, you did a good job finding us out here. Go, something. It's pretty unusual for a newspaper to be run out of a stable. Tree shop created the, cheated the previous owner out of this place. But you see things like they are, don't you? Hmm? Hey, I want to be a reporter. Shine light on truth, expose the evils in the world. I can put in a word with Therese for you. Hey, quiet. Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutual, beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? I, sorry, Charlie C. But there's a new application for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. New application? No, applicant. Hmm, hang on, you look like, ah, look, look. Hey, sorry, Pamba, could you give me in this guy a second here? 
Yeah? Give us a sec. Alright, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of Lucky Clover Gazette ah, here, sorry, if, you, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. Not everyone involved with this story, Pura, asked us for help digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Yeah? Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. I was about to assign Penn to chase those slates, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? I think we could work to him as an investigator? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Wait just a second, I'm gonna get you a little incentive from the back. Here we go. Ta-da! The full set of frogy armor. With that, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces, no slipping. If you work with Penn to chase down all those new stories, and I'll give you this armor piece by piece, all yours. Pretty good deal out there, Link. Anyways, that's my offer. Penn, you can come back in. Yeah, Penn, get back here. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Oh. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then looks like I had you sized up <laughs> right. Trissa knows how to pick on them. All right, you two, here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Penny will head this all. Stables bring in people, and people bring details, and details are what we need. And now, get me some news. Um, I don't have time for that right now. Potential princess sightings. Uh, examine. Yeah, caught my eye. Yeah. Yeah. Ay, ay. She wants me to get. Oh, shoot. I accidentally clicked A too many times. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Um, I need some stuff to keep me warm. I gotta go looking for it in here. Like, that's seriously what I need. Archives are currently closed. Let me climb these walls. Oh, uh, there's nothing out here to keep me warm. Am I sure there's nothing out here? Okay, um, let's get an axe. Oh yeah, that was easy enough. Just a ton of arrows, but still. No, we don't need arrows. Guess we gotta do this quick. Yep, and we did that. And we grab this, and we attach it here. Yep, and we just start chopping down some trees. Cause you gotta do this quickly or we're gonna die. And timber! And I don't want us to die, so we gotta do this quickly. How big does this bridge need to be, you guys think? Oh, sorry, there's something there. No. Stupid thing. Okay, and now I gotta eat some stuff so we don't die out here and eat a hydromelon. Ooh, a whole po two palm fruits. That'll do for a while. Yes. I think this bridge could be big enough. Well, for now, because it's pretty big, if I do say so myself. Okay. Okay, so we have the bridge. Ugh. Okay. Uh, that bridge needs at least... I'm gonna get... I'm gonna guess five long, so that means I need to chop down four more trees. And then add four more trees to the thing. No! Oh, and now I need to chop down six more trees. This is super annoying. Yeah, I just gotta keep chopping down trees. 
For a long while, we're gonna be here. Oh gosh! No! Fudge sickles. Now we start making the second brick, is what we do, okay? Oh, an acorn. Okay. Um. A Korok frond. Oh, I need to eat those. Because I need stuff to eat out here. At least I'm getting stuff to eat. So I don't die while I'm cutting down these trees. And I'm probably going to die still anyways. Yep, and you have four health. That'll last me a pretty good while. And I don't care about this right now. We're just trying to bring all of these logs over. Shoot, need to chop one more. And it'll be four long, and I hope that's long enough. Because if it isn't, I don't want to chop down more trees. Because I might die if I do. So let's go bring some trees. And we just, just like bring this over. Um. Okay. I can't do this if I'm gonna lose health every three seconds. I have to make it so I won't die. Like I cannot die. If I die out here, I will never be found. And shake you off. And uh, these are not connected. And now we need to uh, connect them. And then we then we bring you and we just like and perfect now we have a s extremely long bridge that will probably work for now is this gonna work oh definitely not um we need to chop down more trees, is what I'm saying. <gasps> okay. Stay, stay balanced up there. Shoot, 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 run. Run to the cooking pot. We just need to cook some food. So it'll keep me healed right now. Um, I'm gonna uh, decrease by one. And we're gonna make two dishes of hydromelon and mighty banana it should keep me alive long enough do, 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 do. how long does it keep me alive oh it heals me fully okay hello now we wait till we go are done to one heart and we eat it but until then we chop down trees Okay, and now we eat some simmer fruit. Goes back to max. And we probably need like, that's two? We probably need like at least four. Well, actually at least six. Oh no, we better stop. I don't wanna chop this up. Cause if we chop that up, we're a bit dead. And we grab you, and we grab you, and we take you up to Mountain Stick, and Mountain Stick attaches with your stick, and your stick is, yep, and these two fit together, and we just leave those two there, and bring these two over, and it's straight, and we attach it. And we have to make some more food now. Hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. Okay. You gotta hold one of you, and hold one of you, 
and do this. Wait, what? Shoot. Uh, no. We, now we just need to attach you to you. Or point A to point B. Yep, yep. And we do that. And now we eat some of the food. Because that'll last me quite a while. And we probably need at two more. And yeah, that's how many I'm getting. Ooh. And it's a pot lid. I thought it was like a pie or something. Oh shoot. My axe broke and now I gotta go over here and take the axe sitting over here. Yeesh. And we break this tree. And now I just gotta break, bring this tree all the way over to that piece of wood. Let me attach it to this ginormous tree. And then finally we'll have a bridge. But we gotta do this quickly. Okay, I'm gonna eat something. Quickly. And energizing butter stuff. I'm don't know what the en energizing part is, but okay. And we uh, bring it here and we uh, attach it. And now we have an extremely long bridge that we just need to hope it works. Oh, it works. Yeah. Um. So we have proof it works. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, well, let's just cook a tiny bit more so we can build it, and then we can put it down, and then we can cross it. Which is, which we just need a little bit more fruit and stuff. And we make a one heart simmered fruit. Shoot. Um, let's get uh, like two dazzle fruit. Yeah, we'll cook two dazzle fruit together. Okay. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of this because that's about all I have. And we gotta place this bridge and go up to the shrine. Yeah, I think I made this bridge too long. Do you think so? Because uh, I think so. Because it's getting stuck on things miles away. Yeah, and I'm trying to, but I'm doing it unsuccessfully. I'm bringing, bring it through there. I'm gonna eat the scorching down so I and we just bring it through there. Yup, and we uh, do this. And shoot. Oh my gosh, this isn't gonna work. We need it to go quicker. No, ah! What? Something is wrong with this bridge. Yeah. It's not gonna fall. Yeah, we, we we can't stay here longer. We have to we have to teleport away. Ooh. Which we will do in the next episode. And I will see you all next time. Bye!